Yes, comrade subscribers, I do agree. This is getting somewhat ridiculous. The main reason why I got this fourth one is I'm pretty sure they had opened it up and had a photo. Well, it was really cheap um, compared to other ones I've paid for. Um, but I think the board's different to the other ones. So as long-time subscribers will remember, should remember, that there's two Moldovan bytes. There's the red byte, and then there's the ZX Spectrum byte. Um, the ZX Spectrum byte is uh, basically uses full logic. It doesn't use a ULA at all, whereas um, these red bytes um, use a Soviet ULA. So they're very, quite, quite simple. Um, we've got 64K of RAM. We've got uh, Z80. In this case, I think it's, um, it's an East German Z80. Uh, we've got ROM. And we have the ULA. And we've got a little bit of logic. And that's basically it. And uh, none of them work. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I think it's a I think it's a RAM issue. I think I think the RAM is faulty. The problem is these boards, they're not so easy to desolder. This one looked different, so I'm hoping. I don't know if it works. Actually, yes, it is different because. Um, okay, the joystick, TV. Okay. We've got a seven pin din for the for the video output. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven pin din. And same for the um, for the joystick actually. Uh, whereas the the ZX Spectrum byte with the full logic has one of these. So I suspect that this is basically the same board that's in the ZX Spectrum byte. Um, I would assume, which means, I think, it has a high likelihood of working. Um, it also means that I'm going to have to find, find the cable for it, find the RG, and the, I think the, you notice also, it, it takes 5 volts, but you notice the uh, power cable it's a five pin din. We only need two pins, but I guess you use what you've got. So I'm just going to pull open this up. We've got the standard flathead screws, like flathead type, um, kind of like wood screws. And we will see what's inside. Oh, screw done. A pain, a pain in the ass that was. Um, yeah, look, definitely the board is, is a lot more complex. So I'm, I'm guessing that, here we go, I'm guessing that um, these boards were more expensive to make, I assume. Let's just cover up the EEPROM. So it looks like we've got an East German Z80 again, which is good. Let me just cover up the EEPROM. Yeah, as I was saying, very, um, very much more complex. Um, where are, I'm assuming this is the DRAM. Okay, triple five, is it five, five, five? So I think that is, or is it five, five, six? Pretty sure that's the DRAM, 64K, 64 kilobit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. So Z80 up there, so no ULA, it's all discrete logic. So yeah, obviously, you know, just from the chip count, it would cost more. From labor, it would cost more. The um, I love these EEPROMs. But uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit of a, some bodge work done there. You can see there on the EEPROM. Um, that's going up to... So this is the 5 volt input here. 
So, yeah, but it's a good... Um, I love these ceramic EEPROMs. KM573RF8A. So I guess it's 16K. 1993. 12.5 volts programming voltage. There's our East German UB880D Z80. I'm pretty sure that's East German, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so let's see if I can find my power cable I've made up for the other one and the RGB cable and uh, see if this fellow will work. It's got a switch here. The switch is connected to, um, I think, the NMI pin on the Z80. I believe um, for whatever reason I don't know what the reason is like I guess maybe it's supposed to be a reset or something I don't know uh, oh okay some bodge work down here as well I'm not sure what they are let's have a look I'll have a look and then I'll look them up so oh, upside down so I'll just move the resistor, I assume. So it's a K555KL. Is it a KL? 1-5? K555. I think that's a K. Is it a KL or is it a KG? I'm not sure. KG15. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit of... A bit burnt there. Let's just turn it around a bit. Um, looks like a bit of a burn mark, doesn't it? Just move the light over a bit more. Hmm. So some dodge work there done. Right. Let's see if I can find the cables. See if this fellow will work. Okay, I've got so this is the video cable I made up for the Spectrum Byte, so I assume it should be the same. And um, simple 5 volt power cable. I have made a USB version, but I don't know where I put it. Anyway, um, surprise, surprise, we turn it off. It's drawing about an amp, which is. Yeah, but surprise, surprise, let's power it on. <laughs> hey, toy me, it's not working. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Let's move closer. Yeah, so eventually, when I have some money, spare money, I'm going to get a proper RGB capture capture solution rather than filming the screen. I know it's not very professional. But, um, yeah. So if I turn that NMI switch, I think it's the NMI switch, so if I power off, Power on. So that's with the NMI switch to the left. We got everything. And then switch to the right. Power off just to make it power on. Um, so yeah, just over an amp at five volts. So pretty inefficient, but uh, yeah. Press the keyboard, nothing, uh, no sound out of the speaker. So interesting, so these red bytes, four for four, do not work. <laughs> but um, I'll have a look at the spectrum byte I've got and um, see if I can see any differences, because it works. Uh, not tonight though, uh, I just got back from driving back from Brisbane and uh, it's Bit, uh, bit humid down here so um, tomorrow maybe it's tomorrow Saturday yeah let's see but there we go so um, unfortunately I was hoping I'd have a working bite Ho hoping I was have a red working bite but uh, no I do not Z80s I'm just trying to Oh, and these chips over here, of course, it's not a G, is it? It's, it could be a P. could be a P. K555KP. 
one five or it could be k five 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 k l i think it might be a p k p one five a little bit of solder actually power it off a bit of solder so there might be even just some because you see we don't have the conformal coating or the resist <laughs> or not not the resist the solder mask whatever it is that covers the traces um so they could be yeah god knows what there is some yuckiness there as well so i think i'll um yeah definitely compare this with the bite um see if there's any obvious obvious differences okay i hope that was interesting another moldovan bite i'm definitely want, i want to get one working anyway bye for now